taking the positives there. Bangladesh will surely take the positive with the ball. And maybe not giving a wicket to Mujibur Rahman could be a very good positive with the bat. Rodoy cuts and cuts well and gives victory to Bangladesh by seven wickets. A brilliant comeback. They were under pressure after going 2-0 down. And many were wondering, well, is this the end? Is this the end of the good run that we've seen of late by Bangladesh cricket? But no, that's not the answer. They were sensational today. They came up with a purpose to make a statement and they have managed to do it really well. Bangladesh won by seven wickets. And Lidon Kumar Das remained unbeaten on 50 alongside Tohid Ridoy. Been a very good performance both with bat and ball. Both the teams have played really well and the crowd must be happy finally getting a win for Bangladesh. But from Afghanistan's point of view, though they lost the match, but they still, they have managed to win the series and they played some brilliant cricket. Yeah, the game was lost with a bat, I'm afraid, for Afghanistan getting bundled out for 126. And that was only achieved courtesy of a brilliant half century by uh, Azmatullah Ramazai. The rest, well, they'll be hoping that they can find some form before those T20 internationals in a few days' time in Silat. Most of the runs have come at the top of the order. The middle order of Afghanistan have some work to do. For Bangladesh, they needed to make a statement tonight after two subpar performances from a very good team, and they did, did just that. Sharaf Islam, along with Tuskin Ahmed, made a statement up front with some real aggressive quick bowling. The spinners were tight as ever and weighed in with the odd wicket or two. And then in the run chase, granted it wasn't a big one, but Lytton Das, the captain, led from the front and took his team over the line. We'll see more of Rashid Khan in Silat when he leads Afghanistan in the T20 International Series. We didn't see him today. He's nursing a slight back niggle, but the great man, we'll see him soon. Bangladesh team will be happy to be finally able to grab a win there. And as you mentioned rightly, they, they needed to make a statement there. And they've done it really well. Especially Shoriful Islam with the ball initially and then the batters did the job with Liton Dash. The Stohid Ridoy playing that winning shot there for Bangladesh. Despite losing a few early wickets, they made sure Bangladesh gets to the target easily. The pair does that for Bangladesh. Ashmuldullah Shahidi won't be entirely disappointed though. Definitely they missed someone like Rashid Khan today, but Bangladesh negotiated the bowlers quite well. But it's Father Luck Faruqi once again. Those picking up early wickets there. The slit on Dash remain not at on 53 and Ridoy on 22. Naim missed out yet again. Shaki playing that runner ball 39. Yeah, a little one between Shanto and Litton. A good one between Shakib and Litton Kumar Das. And then Tawid Ridoy joined his captain for an unbeaten one of 40. Difficult task for these men having to defend just 126. Faisal Faruqi, Faisal Hat Faruqi gave Afghanistan the ideal start with two quick wickets. But for the rest, well, it was too big a mountain to climb. Won the toss, Afghanistan, and said that they would bat first. 126 all out. Ormazai, man alone, 56 off 71 balls. It was all about Shoriful and Tuskin and the rest of the Bangladesh bowlers. In reply, led by their captain's unbeaten 53, Bangladesh crossed the line with seven wickets to spare. So the test won by Bangladesh, the one-day international series won by Afghanistan with those two wins in the first two ODIs, and then a comprehensive victory for the home side in this final ODI. We're off to Silat next for the, the, the two T20 internationals.
don't go too far because we've got a post-match presentation at the side of this break. <laughs> 